Hi, my name is Andrew Sears, and I'm the president of City Vision University. And in this presentation, I'm going to give you an overview of the history and vision of City Vision University so you can understand better what it is that we're trying to do. Um, so just to give you a, a quick overview, City Vision University was founded out of the Association of Gospel Rescue Missions in 1998. It was originally called Rescue uh, College. We also have deep roots, and I'll explain in the history, with the Christian Community Development Movement, um, Salvation Army, Evangelical Ministries, Christian Recovery, and Black Church Traditions. And um, as I'll, I'll explain, uh, some, some of our background also goes, you know, personally, my background um, goes to co-founding a research group with one of the fathers of the internet and, um, you know, working in the dot-com boom. So we're, we're bringing a lot of streams together. So in 98... Um, Rescue College was founded, and it was focused on providing a one-year program for uh, people who are working at rescue mission, serving the, the homeless and the addicted in the United States. And um, City Vision is actually the merger of two organizations. So in parallel, Tech Mission was founded out of a black church ministry, called, and it was uh, called PrEP, and uh, with a lot of founding members out of the Christian Community Development Association, and we developed a network of over 500 educational programs in urban ministries. And then in 2005, in parallel, Rescue College was accredited by the Distance Education Accrediting Commission with a bachelor's degree completion program in missions. And uh, at the same time, Tech Mission had launched a lot of websites, urbanministry.org and christianvolunteering.org, um, launched with over 100,000 free resources, and it became the third most visited website among Christian organizations serving the poor. And then in 2008, Rescue College became a part of the Christian nonprofit Tech Mission. So this is when the merger happened. Uh, Rescue College was renamed City Vision College. In 2015, City Vision College uh, was at graduate programs and became City Vision University. And along the way, from 2008, uh, City Vision only had about 30 students, and it, it's grown to have over, over 200 students now. Um, and in 2016, City Vision, we co-founded a research, or we co-founded a group called the Christian Higher Education Innovation Alliance with over 100 leaders. And really what they realized is there needed to be a new wineskin for Christian higher education, especially to serve the poor in the developing world. And we got leaders from Christian institutions, higher education institutions um, uh, across the, the world to help um, in that. And then in, in 2019, we launched... Uh, what's called Massive Open Online Courses. Um, and we initially had over 7,000 users and now have over 17,000 users. So just to give you a little bit more background, City Vision, um, the history with rescue missions, we've had over 105 rescue missions sending students um, to City Vision. We've had over 265 students from rescue missions. We've had over 23 uh faculty come from rescue missions that's current and former faculty um, we've also worked extensively with christian nonprofits especially with tech mission um, tech mission had over 8565 um, nonprofit partners in the past we placed over uh, 683 full-time interns and had a lot of nonprofits send um, their partners and we've gotten a lot of national recognition so we've been featured by christianity today the u.s department of education um, recognized as, as a finalist for innovation, the, the Clayton Christensen Institute. He was the guy who coined the term disruptive innovation. We've written articles for them. Um, we, there's been case studies that have been done on, on City Vision. We run an a innovation award from the Pioneer Institute. That was the group that started um, many people credit for being a catalyst for creating the charter school movement. And they recognize this as an innovation um, award winner. And we've been featured in, in Forbes. And just my own um, background, I co-founded a research group with one of the fathers of the internet at MIT, and then went on to do my doctorate at Baki University, um, where it was focused on disruptive innovation and Christian higher education and the poor. And, um, you know, many of you come from uh, backgrounds of poverty or, or addiction, and I also come from, from that background myself. So I grew up in a neighborhood where most of my friends were getting um, addicted or, or using drugs in elementary school, um, worked at a Burger King that was basically a drug house in uh, high school and had a life burnout and um, turned to God and 
um, realized my heart was for uh, really the values of what we're doing with City Vision. So what is the one line that summarizes what City Vision is doing? Um, it's providing radically affordable online education to those serving the poor, the addicted, and the underserved. Um, that represents probably more than 80% of our students, and we, we do that under three different domains. We say transforming individuals, transforming organizations, and transforming educational systems. So under transforming individuals, we transform lives with a solution to the addiction ep epidemic. So that, this is our addiction counseling program. We've had over, uh, we, we've had a graduation rate of 67% of our students. Um, for those who um, are matriculated, we've had a job in further education rate of 79%, and we've had 214 students in the past five years. And just to kind of explain that in stories, so these are a couple student stories. Um, Brittany Hargrove, uh, she was introduced to drugs by hanging out with the wrong crowd in college. After she became ad addicted, she dropped out of college, and um, whenever she was arrested, she was facing a prison sentence. Um, she turned back to Jesus and entered a recovery program at St. Matthew's House in Naples, Florida, and she was discipled, got free of her addiction, and she completed her bachelor's degree in addiction studies through City Vision and now counsels former addicts through City, um, at, she counsels for, former addicts, addicts at uh, St. Matthew's House, and she's happily married and is now enrolled in City Vision's MBA program. And John Dean's another um, of our graduates. So he was an addict for 22 years and a gang member for 27 years after starting drugs at age 13. And he had a profound encounter with God that ultimately led him to decide to follow Jesus at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. He continued his recovery and discipleship through the House of Disciples in Longview, Texas, and went to City Vision University's addiction counseling program. He got a bachelor's degree, and now he's a case manager with House of Disciples, where he works with recovering addicts and ex-offenders, and um, he's helping coach them as, as many of them are, are becoming students with City Vision. So that's a little bit of, of how we transform individuals. About 20 to 30 percent of our students are, um, you know, recently homeless, uh, you know, recently got out of prison, or um, recently recovered from addiction. Um, then the other area is transforming organizations. So this is our nonprofit management program or business or ministry leadership program. And we've had a 62% graduation rate, um, 83%, I'm sorry, 62% graduation rate and 83% job placement rate. We've had 347 students um, in the past five years. And um, here, just to explain what we're trying to do is we're not just trying to transform individuals. We're trying to take organizations that are focused on serving the poor and the addicted and help them do what they're doing better. So St. Matthew's House is an organization that has doubled in size in the uh, past few years. And whenever you double in size and you add a lot of new staff, there's a huge training need. So in the past three years, they've sent us 33 students. Um, and they provided two faculty members, and ultimately, what we've helped them do is, as they've grown, um, we've helped them upskill all of their—not all of their staff, but all the staff they've sent to us—and um, we've been a key part of their growth path. Now, another group that we've worked with is Engineering Ministries International. Um, they have an internship program that works across five countries, and we co-developed a joint academic program, a uh, grad program for 18 staff and interns. And they paid us to develop some custom open courses on our City Vision Institute um, for them. And then a third one, Souls Harbor Rescue Mission. Uh, Michelle Porter was actually the first uh, City Vision graduate, and she founded two rescue missions and sent over um, 20 students and interns. And we uh, helped her in that process. So then the last one is um, transforming educational systems. And we're doing that through our website called the City Vision Institute. So we've had over 17,000 students take our free courses in 167 countries. And um, each of our courses can, can help in different domains. So the transforming individuals. So this is essentially an orientation to rescue missions um, for people who have recently graduated from a recovery program and might want to work at a rescue mission or work serving the, the poor and the addicted. And then for, for staff, we have a human resources course. Um, I jokingly call this the, so you're a new manager and you don't want to um, get sued because you break uh, the law on, on something and we cover a lot of the things that you need to know. Um, and then 
uh, we have a lot of courses on uh, disrupting uh, innovation, disruptive innovation, higher education, Christian community development, leadership, COVID-19 um, toolkit. So what makes City Vision unique? You know, there's lots of colleges out there and universities. There's lots of Christian colleges. So what makes this unique is we're the only college I know of that is um, completely focused on serving Christians, serving the poor, the addicted, and underserved. Um, by narrowing our focus, we're going to be much more relevant than generic Christian ministry, business, or nonprofit counseling degrees or secular um, degrees. So, um, you know, so many of our faculty work in these fields and our, our courses are designed for these contents. So it's essentially specialization. The other is just the affordability and convenience. We cost less than half of most other Christian college degrees. These are online um, and less than a quarter of a lot of them. We also work really hard because we recognize that a lot of people who are serving the poor and addicted, they have a lot more um, experience than maybe shows up on their transcript. So we do we can provide prior learning credit where you get credit for your experience up of up to 25% of a degree. And we do that with more students than any other Christian school that I know of. Um, you know, there's just the convenience of online education. And we also provide deep Christian integration. So, you know, one of our students I talked to recently said I was afraid to go to another school because they were going to basically try to pull my faith out of me, um, essentially. And we translate tools into a Christian context. And the other thing is we're not just serving students, we're serving the whole organization. So we have a business model focused around uh, nonprofit partnerships. Um, about 60 to 70 percent of our students come from nonprofit partners. So we help you drive growth in your whole organization. So in the next slide, I'm going to explain a little bit about how we do that and the, the relationship um, between the programs. So the different programs that we have and how we can help grow. So we have two departments. We have the addiction counseling program, which um, you know is a degree program. And then we have the ministry and management department. And then we have uh, five degrees. We have a nonprofit management degree. Um, we have a ministry and leadership degree. We have a business degree. Um, and both of those are focused really on nonprofits. And we have an MBA degree. And, and right now, um, we have under review a degree for a, a Master of Science and Organizational Leadership. And how we would like to partner with an organization. So say you're just one student at your organization. We'd like, you know, in the next few years to maybe have five students come from your organization. And then City Vision Institute, how that works is we'd like for you to have maybe 20 staff and 30 participants take some of these free courses. So spread the word and um, how, you know, we're able to give away these free courses and still make it sustainable is some of our partners um, have come to us and said, you know, we'd like you to customize this, um, you know, into a custom orientation for our staff. Um, so, you know, organizations could pay us for that. And the other is um, some of these people who take the free courses might become paid students. So, um, you know, City Vision has a, uh, you know, good size faculty. Our, our faculty, you know, a lot of them have doctorates. Um, most of them have worked in uh, serving the poor and the addicted. So, um, you know, that's a big value that, that you're getting here. So this is our ministry and management faculty, our addiction counseling faculty, um, our board, uh, Commissioner Jim Nags was a former uh, territory commander of the Salvation Army Western Territory. He had a $2 billion budget that he was managing. Now he's helping us um, figure out how do we serve the Salvation Army better. Um, and we have a lot of key leaders, um, uh, Brad Smith from Bucking University and, and other key leaders that um, either have been working and serving the poor, working in the business community, or um, working uh, in, in uh, Christian academia. So how can you help in this? Um, well, one is you can train others in what you learn at City Vision. So if you're a student um, or if you take our free courses, um, you can train others in what you, you learn. So share our free courses with others in your organization, refer students to City Vision. Um, that's honestly the biggest way you can help um, if you, you've been served. Uh, set up calls between your organizational leadership and City Vision. So um, you know, we can help your organization set up an educational employee benefit program. You can see our partners menu at cityvision.edu. You can send an email to me, Andrew at cityvision.edu. Um, 
and then just stay connected and support City Vision after gradu graduation. So consider giving either individually or through your church or organization. And ultimately, you got to recognize, you know, many of you got scholarships and scholarships only work if alumni and other donors continue to give. Um, so if you want to get involved as a partner, then the best way to do that is to go to our partners menu. Um, there's many items under there. There's uh, five different ways, educational is employee benefit, credit partner, scholarship partner, City Vision Institute, and also the intern partners. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed your experience with City Vision University. And ultimately the way this is going to work is if you help us um, turn this into a movement where we're helping a lot of other people, because what ultimately what we really want to do is our students and our partners help millions of individuals that were formerly homeless, addicted, and we want to make help them do their jobs better. And ultimately, you can help us do that by helping to deepen the partnerships with your organizations and connecting us with other students. So thanks a lot.